Drivers were now confined to 300 kilometers or a maximum duration of two hours. Additionally, drivers were eligible for points only if they completed the entire race without sharing their cars. The mandatory use of commercial fuel made aviation fuel standard. Mike Hawthorne secured the championship title despite clinching just one victory, while Sterling Moss, with an impressive four wins, concluded the year as runner-up yet again. Tragically, Hawthorne, who retired from racing immediately after his championship win, met with a fatal road accident near Guildford within months of his crowning achievement. Both Van Wall and BRM struggled with new fuel restrictions, leading to season delays. Moss surprised Ferrari with a no-stop victory in Argentina and Rob Walker's Cooper Climax. Van Wall's return to Monaco ignited a fierce battle against Ferrari's Hawthorne and Collins. Mid-season, Ferrari dominated, with Hawthorne winning in France, coinciding with Fangio's final Grand Prix, and Collins taking a farewell victory in Britain. Tragically, Collins faced a fatal crash at the Nürburgring during the German Grand Prix. Van Wall's triumph in the final four Grand Prix secured them the inaugural Constructors' title, while Hawthorne secured the championship for Ferrari, etching his name in history as Britain's first world champion.